x prime f function of x is equal to square root of 1 minus cos x where x tends to z from 0 to 2 pi in the Fourier series hence evaluate 1 divided by 1.3 plus 1 divided by 3.5 plus 1 divided by 5.7 and so on and so forth the Fourier series of f of x of period 2 pi is f of x is equal to a naught by 2 plus summation that is sigma n tends to from 1 to infinity a of n a n cos nx plus sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity b of n sin nx so this is our first equation here the function of 2 pi minus x is equal to f of x then it is for even function of 2 pi minus x is equal to minus f of x then it is odd since f of x is equal to square root of 1 minus cos x we consider the first equation so f of 2 pi minus x is equal to square root of 1 minus cos of 2 pi minus x which is equal to 1 by square root of 1 minus cos x which is f of x therefore f of x is an even function therefore a naught is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x dx here we can generalize this as a of n is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi function of x cos nx dx and v of n is equal to 0 because we know that this part tends to 0 so sin square x by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 into minus cos x so 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square into x by 2 hence here f of x is equal to square root of 1 minus cos x so using that part here f of x is equal to square root of 2 into sin square x by 2 which is equal to you take the 2 outside the square root of 2 into because it is sin square x by 2 um, square root so the square root and the square gets cancelled so sin x by 2 so we get the equation as square root of 2 into sin x by 2 therefore a naught is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi into root 2 into sin x by 2 into dx which is equal to 2 root 2 by pi integral 0 tends to from 0 to pi sin of x by 2 that is this uh, square root of 2 we are removing putting it outside the integral sign so we get 2 root 2 that is 2 root 2 divided by pi and sin x by 2 dx yes further when we simplify this we get 2 root 2 by pi of sin x when we integrate it we get cos x so minus cos x that is minus cos x into x by 2 divided by half the integration is from 0 to pi that is 0 to pi when we this further here the 1 by 2 is again it will become multiplied by 2 when it goes to the uh, numerator and further so which is equal to minus 4 into square root of 2 by pi into cos x by 2 in uh, from, for, from 0 to pi this further leads us to the next term that is minus 4 square root of 2 by pi into we have two terminals we re replace x with pi in the first equation so cos pi by 2 minus we replace it by 0 0 by 2 is again 0 so cos 0 so once we simplify it we get minus 4 into square root of 2 by pi into 0 minus 1 because cos of pi by 2 is 0 and cos of 0 is 1 so which is equal to 4 by square root of 2 by pi here this this is the equations that we use further we get for value of 
a naught by 2 is equal to 2 root 2 by pi so 4 and 2 gets cancelled so 2 root 2 by pi so we know the generalized equation of a of n is equal to 2 by 2 by pi integral 0 to pi f of x into cos nx dx is equal to 2 by pi integral 0 to pi into square root of 2 into sin x by 2 into cos nx dx because we are replacing the value of the function f of x from what we got in the previous equation therefore simplifying this further we remove the square root of 2 outside so 2 root 2 by pi into integral 0 tends to pi sin x by 2 into cos nx dx which is equal now here we use a formula sin a into cos b is equal to half of sin a plus b plus sin of a minus b using this in this formula this is sin a you can consider and consider this as cos b that is sin a and cos b so we expand this in this format so we get two sign terms here also we have two sign terms preceded by a half so half sign here value of a is x by 2 and value of b is nx so half into n and we have taken the x value outside common so we get sin half of n into x plus sin half minus n into x dx therefore when we simplify this further we get square root of 2 because the 2 here when we take it out it gets cancelled so only a square root remains of 2 remains in others so, so square root of 2 divided by pi integral 0 tends to pi sine of n of n plus half of x minus sine of n minus half of x here this is very important here sine of half minus n of x can be further simplified as we remove the negative sign outside so sign of minus of n minus half see when we multiply it we get minus n we multiply minus into minus half we get plus half so the equation is the same but it can be represented in this way further this can be again simplified as minus sign that is a minus sign is preceding sign minus sign into n minus half into x so this equation can also be written in this form that is sine half of n half of min, uh, half minus n into x can be written as minus sign into n minus half of x further once we use that particular formula here the same instance can be used here further when we use when we do the integration it changes to sine changes to cos so square root of 2 into pi into minus cos into n plus 1 by 2 into x divided by n plus 1 by 2 plus when we integrate it further we get minus sine becomes plus cos cos into n minus half into x by n minus 1 by 2 integrating it from 0 to pi further we have to simplify it here square root of 2 by pi is retained then while simplifying this we have removed the minus sign and n by half outside and use this as an exclusive term so cos of n plus 1 by 2 into x the integral is applied only to this part not to the uh, the constants the constant part only to the cos and the sign so simplifying this much further we use the value of pi and then further that is to get this term and we use the value of n tends to 0 here and we get cos 0 here we know that further this equation can be written as a of n is equal to square root of 2 by pi into 1 by n plus half minus 1 by n minus half which is equal to square root of 2 by pi 
into n minus half minus n minus half divided by n square minus half whole square that is n plus half into n minus half is a plus b into a minus b form which is equal to a square minus b square so which is equal to a square minus b square right so these are the further uh, uh, formulae that we apply here in in order that we get the required answer further this can be written as a of n is equal to square root of 2 by pi into minus 1 divided by n square minus 1 by 4 which is equal to square root of 2 divided by pi into minus 4 divided by 4 n square minus 1 that is simplifying minus 1 divided by n square minus 1 by 4 so once we simplify this part the 4 which is in the denominator will be shifted to the numerator therefore we get the equation a of n is equal to minus 4 root 2 and 4 root 2 divided by pi into 4 n square minus 1 for n tending to take the value 1 2 3 and further by substituting a naught by 2 and a, a of n in the first equation we get square root of 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 root 2 by pi minus 4 square root of 2 by pi into summation of that is sigma n is equal to 1 to infinity cos nx divided by 4 n square minus 1 this is the second equation to deduce that the, res uh, the result put x as 0 the value of x as 0 in this equation in 2 that is this equation and since f of x is defined as x tends from 0 to 2 pi we get the following equation f of 0 is 0 therefore reducing putting that value in this equation we can further solve the series while solving for the series we we shift this part of the this term to the LHS so LHS is equal to the RHS and where it takes the different values of n and so we get the equation as 1 by half is equal to 1 by 1.3 plus 1, 1 by 3.5 plus 1 by 5.7 hence the result